Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy and today I have for you a Dollar Tree Empties video. So basically what this does is give me a chance to go through everything that I used up from the Dollar Tree in the month of July and tell you what's trash and what's treasure. So that way you'll know what you can spend your money on and what you can save a dollar on. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so. I'd love to have you as a member of my YouTube family and make sure you follow me on Instagram for sneak peeks. So of course I've decided to come outside and record and somebody's decided to cut down a tree. If I'm recording outside, somebody's mowing, building a house, cutting down a tree, just <laughs> seems like always something. But let's go ahead and get started and I'll try to get through this as quick as possible. I really don't have that many items this month, thankfully, so I should be able to zoom right through this for you guys. I am though going to start out with one of my favorite items at Dollar Tree and that is the old Williamsburg candles. This one is my favorite from last summer and they did not have any this summer. Thankfully, I had stocked up when I fell in love with it then. This one is the Old Williamsburg Mason Jar Candle Peach Bellini. And let me tell you, it smells amazing. I think maybe I have one more. I don't know if I do or not, sadly. And of course, they didn't come out with it at any of my stores this summer. I don't know if you guys had them or not. But the Old Williamsburg Mason Jar Candles are some of the best I've found at Dollar Tree. They are hit or miss, but there are some really good gems in there. And this one is one. I don't think I have the other one. I love the cinnamon bun. It smells good too, and it should be out right now. So if you see it, go ahead and stock up. It has an, just an amazing throw. It smells so good. Um, sadly, no more of this one. The other one I liked, and this was one that was new for this summer, and this one was the Mahogany Coconut. This one was really good too, and it's sort of got a masculine smell with some undertones of coconut, if that makes sense. Masculine meaning it smells like men's cologne to me. And this one burned down really well. I'm gonna clean these out and I will repurpose these jars a lot. Okay, another candle that I really enjoyed was from last summer also, and it's the Old Williamsburg Coconut Leaves. This one is in such a pretty, like, bamboo-colored green. It had a really good smell and throw to it also. Never saw it any this year, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure this was last year's because the design had changed for this year. It seems like every year they sort of change the design right here. Completely out of this one now, sadly. Okay, now I have two dud candles that I want to share with you guys, and this one is an Old Williamsburg also. So this one is the Italian Ice. Although it's got a pretty little cover on it, a gorgeous color, it had zero throw, and it did not burn down well. Can you see how much of this is left? And even if I did scrape it out and put it in a warmer, we wouldn't be able to smell it. You can smell, it smells good on cold sniff, but when you're burning it, absolutely nothing. So that was the Italian ice. And then the other one, this is one that I picked up last year also, but they come out with these all the time, usually around a holiday, like Mother's Day, Easter, things like that. This is the Pillsbury, <laughs> sorry to say the Pillsbury Doughboy candle. This is the Pillsbury candle, and this one was in the orange sweet roll. Here's what it looked like, can you see, let's see got just a little like pot jar pot belly kind of thing and it says Pillsbury on here it cleaned out really well I went ahead and cleaned it out just to show you it burned all the way down to nothing just the little metal wick so I just wiped it out and then I'll wash it out really good but this one had absolutely no smell I've never had any luck whatsoever with any of the Pillsbury candles but I am going to keep this. I put these in like my medicine cabinet and that way I can put little things in them. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about a few beauty products. And one of those that we finished up this last month was the, is it Dessinage, Dessinage? Uh, of Paris Oleo Miracle Conditioner. Wow, that's a mouthful. Um, this one is a replenishing system conditioner with three precious oils, which is argon and a bunch that I cannot pronounce. Um, you get 6.7 fluid ounces in this. This is amazing. I think they said if you pick this up, I think I even checked at Walmart, it retails for like $8 and something. Um, but this is really, really good. I did pick up like three of these when I saw them. 
we fell in love with this. Um, I think I still have one more left, but this is really good. So if you see the Dessinage or Dessinage conditioners and shampoos in the store, just go ahead and pick them up. You won't regret it. Um, I went through, well, let's finish this because oh, this is sort of in the same vicinity as that. This is one of the whole blends Garnier rinse out masks for your hair. And this one was the coconut oil and cocoa butter. These came in sets of two. So you got two little packets like this. This was enough really in this package for two uses. So for me, each pack, each little container had four uses in it. It made me fall in love with this. So these will definitely be a repurchase for me. I will go ahead and buy the bigger one. They come in several different varieties. Um, I think there was one that was in green, a white one, a brown one, just tons of different colors and they all did different things. But I absolutely loved them. So they've got me hooked and I will be buying the big container when I go to Walmart because it was such a good conditioner. A loofah, well, or like a mitt, a loofah mitt. I love these things and I pick them up at Dollar Tree all the time. I remember when they used to come in sets of two, now you only get one, but it's still worth it for me. These last about two or three months, but you can tell this one is starting to, you know, look like it's seen better days. Um, what you do is you just put this on your hand when you're in the shower and get it wet and then put your soap or your, um, body wash on there and it just suds up and then you can just wash with it and it sort of gets all that extra dead skin off and it makes you feel so much cleaner. I love these. So I've already repurchased a new one and it's time to throw this one away. Again, these are a good little deal and a great find. And we went through two makeup remover wipes. Let's start with this one. This one is the Fritch Lavender Citrus in the Bolero. You get 30 in here. These are paraben free, color free. Um, these are nourishing and cleansing wipes. I'm not sure. One of these made Kerrigan's face break out and it seems like it may have been this one. So if you have really sensitive skin, like teenage skin, this one made her break out. Just know that. So she threw it down here to me to use and I had no issues. Actually, I started breaking out, but I think it was completely something different. I changed some skincare things. <laughs> But what I do with these is I just pull one out, I put a pump of face cleansing soap on it, rub it together, get it good and sudsy, and then wash my face. And it saves my washcloths and I don't have to worry about running those, but this is what I use. And then the other one that I finished up was this one. This is the um, Sassy and Chic Sensitive Skin Cleansing Towelettes. In this one, you get 25 instead of 30. It says that you can compare these to the Simple brand and it says effectively, and gently removes made makeup. No parabens, no harsh chemicals, no alcohols or dyes with vitamin E, pre-moistened towelettes. Again, I do the same thing. I just put a pump of my face lotion or soap on there and then wash my face with them. But I really like these and they didn't break me out either. They do have two different ones out right now. This one that is comparable to the Simple and the other one is comparable to the Neutrogena. I like this one a lot better. I did go through one medication from Dollar Tree this past month, and that was the Assured brand Anti-Diarrheal. Need I say more? Let's just say this stuff is definitely comparable to the Imodium and a lot cheaper. These are some tiny, tiny little tablets you can see right there. Um, they sort of dissolve even before you go down, so you don't have to worry about swallowing a big, hard pill. You get 12 in here, and these control symptoms of diarrhea. That's really all I want to talk about is these are really good. Okay, I finished up two laundry room items. This one is the Breezy in the Black, and this one is the Jasmine Lotus. You got 55 dryer sheets in this. This is probably my favorite scent ever that I found at Dollar Tree. This one just the box even still smells amazing. It did, it smelled so good. I picked up two or three of these at the time and I have not seen them since. So hopefully they will have these again. I really liked them. It says, um, reduces wrinkles with iron ease, uh, fabric softener sheets, softens and freshens, reduces static clean, helps repel pet hair. These were so good and they made my towels smell amazing. Really sad that I can't find these anymore because I really did love them. And the other laundry room item that I went through was the LA's Totally Awesome 
oxygen power and this one is for removing stains you got one quart in here which is 32 ounces all-purpose spot remover um, on carpet upholstery clothing and more we use this on Preston's clothes he works in a factory and he has issues with like lots of dirt and grease um, and so I had been using this on some of his clothes and it actually did a really good job but again it says back here that you can use it on carpet upholstery clothing tons of stuff of course keep out of reach of children and animals I do like this but I'm testing out some other things that came from Dollar Tree right now so I won't be repurchasing this immediately but when I get done with all of those if this one is still my favorite I will come back Okay, I think I've showed these in every single Dollar Tree empties for the past three months. And just to know, I still have a few more. These are the Clorox Fragonzia Spring Multi-Purpose Cleaning Wipes. Dollar Tree had these in like three or four months ago. When they did, I went in and stocked up and got like eight of them. These were amazing. They smell good. These aren't disinfecting wipes, but I do use these to wipe down at my bar and stuff after I've got done cooking. Maybe syrup, sticky residue, um, I've cut up some vegetables, things like that. These are perfect for not needing antibacterial wipes. Um, you did get a 40 in here. Again, if they ever have these again, I will stock up and get like a billion of them. I absolutely love these. Okay, I recently discovered that I had this in my stockpile of items and went ahead and thought, why have I not been using it? This is one of the Perk Wake Up Your Space Visor Wraps. So you just take it out, you put it over your sun visor, and it makes your car smell amazing, it says. This one is the Summer Berry, and it does. It works. It has an amazing scent. This one is not too perfumey. It's basically fruity, which is something I love. Anything with tons of perfume sets off headaches and migraines for me. Kicking myself for not testing this out earlier so that I could have bought a ton of them in different scents because they had lots of them. But this one worked really great. It is made in the USA. Um, it isn't a Greenbrier brand. And I have seen these at other places like Walmart and stuff like that. It says up to 30 days of freshness and scent and it really is working amazing I love this so if I ever see them again I'll probably buy several okay let's go ahead and finish up the few kitchen items I have left and then I'm gonna get you guys out of here early so this is their parchment paper and it is uh, 8.33 yards by 12 inches parchment paper of course is good for your microwave freezer for candy making and baking 25 square feet non-stick and oven safe i always pick it up there if i pick it up anywhere else it's ridiculous i'm completely out because we made cookies and sausage balls this week so i went to pick up some more and they were nowhere to be found so i don't know if it was they were just out or they're not going to have it anymore i hope they were just out and they'll have it next time i'm in but I do pick up my things like parchment paper, aluminum foil, baggies, and things like that at Dollar Tree because they are so much cheaper. And this one is a good parchment paper. Around the holidays, they will have in pure extracts. And this one was the Spice Time Pure Vanilla Extract, vanilla, bean, in water, and alcohol, unfortunately. So I won't be picking these up anymore. But if you needed some, you're not going to find pure vanilla extract for a dollar anywhere else. So I did pick up several of these. This was the last one. We used it all, it was okay. But from now on, I plan on picking up some that doesn't have alcohol in it. So I'll have to pick it up probably either at Walmart, the grocery store, Sam's or somewhere like that. But again, this was one fluid ounce and they usually have these available around holiday time. So if you need those, be on the lookout for them. Riley finished this off. This is the alkali water and you get 33.8 ounces in this. This one is the one that has multivitamins in it. So it's vitamin C, vitamin B1, vitamin B3, vitamin B5 and 6. And it says electrolytes added for a great taste, purified water with multivitamins. So I've been giving her these. It's some, you know, summer here in Tennessee so it's like a billion degrees just wanted to get some extra in her they have it in this one which is like the pink orange and purple container and then they also have one that's like a solid blue and it seems like that one might be a little bigger I do pick up both when I go and she drinks on those I think last time she drank one she drank this whole thing in a day 
And then the last thing is the coconut spray. This was the pure and simple 20% more coconut cooking spray non-stick and you've got six ounces in this. I've had no luck with this. If I spray it on like a cookie sheet, a lined cookie sheet, it burns. If I spray it in my skillet, it sort of burns and browns. I don't know if it's just this one, but I recently purchased a name brand good one um, at the store that I found basically on clearance for like 69 cents and it has done great. I've not had the same issues that I'd had with this one. It says it's cholesterol free, sodium free, calorie free. The ingredients in here though are water, organic coconut oil, soybean oil. So maybe that's what's doing it because the other one I got is just basically coconut. Um, I will not repurchase this one for me. This was a big old dud and you can tell there's still quite a bit in here. So it just gave my food a funky taste, if that makes sense. And again, it sort of turned brown every time I tried to use it. Okay, that is all I have for July's Dollar Tree Empties video. And I feel like I got you guys in and out of here really fast compared to normal, which is anywhere from a 25 to a 45 minute long video. Completely empty, starting all over. Make sure you stick around, check out some more of my videos. Thanks for watching and I hope everyone has a great week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Another good one, and I believe this one was last year's also, and it was the coconut leaves. Smells so good. Can y'all tell? I like coconut. Seriously, could it be any louder? Why do you hate me? Why? Now, I have never had any luck whatsoever. None. No. I swear. Every single time.